uh, let us talk about energy storage devices energy storage devices is also a very hard research field for uh, PhDs or for master or for other uh, research programs uh, there are mainly uh, uh, three type of devices uh, which we store energy uh, for most of the case the capacitor and super capacitor are similar and the another storage device is battery right so before uh, discussing this in detail that which uh, uh, storage device is best or better uh, let's uh, know a little bit about uh, that what is basically a power density and what is basically energy density uh, there is a competition between these two things energy density and a power density so you can see the unit here that uh, 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 the, the, the power density mean watt per kilogram. This means that if we take one kilogram of uh, something, so how many watts it will give? Uh, I will make it very clear. Energy density is watt R uh, per kilogram. So you look here, a battery or line on this side, on energy side. You know, when you keep battery in the car, so it lasts for a very long time. Uh, but on the other hand, capacitor is basically a, a on the power side. Uh, in supercapacitor lying between here, uh, in this uh, area, uh, in between, and let me quickly show the future is here. We want to move here. This means that at this positions, so we will have also high energy and we will have also high power density. But before, uh, uh, if you are if you are if you are doing power density, you are compromised energy density. So uh, this is very hard field uh, that if you are uh, basically uh, coming toward energy density, so you are compromising energy density uh, for uh, power density. For example, battery does not have power. A battery mean a battery can stay for long time, but it cannot work quickly uh, let me clarify this energy density and energy uh, power density in a very very clever way right then we will move there energy density is we explain that watt r per kilogram or kilowatt r that's uh, no problem and power density basically mean watt per kilogram right this power density is something related to fast how fast you see here and this energy density mean how far for long distance let me take the example of car okay if you have a car and you wish to go far away so you need energy density great energy density you see basically you need greater energy density because you know what are and this energy density basically decides it tells that how far you can travel right whereas the power density is basically decides or tells how fast you can travel so if you are accelerating this means it's all about the, uh, the 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 power density but if you are going far away this is all about energy density right so now look this thing here so these areas are a very hard research field particularly the super capacitor and batteries right now look this super forget about the capacitor because this is very old uh, technology and battery is also a uh, very old technology but now there is a competition between these two the super capacitor and batteries right so the the future is basically here now if we wish to do research work and to find a research gap or to find a problem statement so super capacitor and battery are the best options why super capacitor lies in between this and the future direction is here this is the future direction so this means that this means that uh, uh, we can uh, simply do research uh, the research should be like this that uh, we do not compromise power density on energy density or we do not compromise energy density on power density for example we need a device which charge or discharge faster 
and also uh, uh, still long. So, battery just do the work for still long and super capacitor or capacitor just work for uh, uh, quick work. Right? So, now we need a, 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 an idea this is the future. So this means that the future is very clear. The problem statement is very clear. If you are writing now the problem statement, so you just write that the battery is stay for long but the power density is very low. Or if you are working on supercapacitors, you just write that uh, we know capacitors that capacitor has a very high power density but very low energy density. You see here very low energy, energy density. This means it stay for very short time. This is a problem. <laughs> here B3 it is also a problem. So you can easily find uh, your gap, your problem statement uh, about the uh, your research uh, working on supercapacitor. The battery best example is lithium ion battery, lithium, lithium ion battery and this is a very hot uh, research area. Uh, there are also some other uh, area and nuclear uh, battery so we can store or some diamond battery also. But this was just the, the, the overview quickly that uh, this is the future here. So I give a very clear clue that you can easily find uh, your topic for your PhD or uh, research that where you have to do work, right? So then uh, you can split this supercapacitor battery into many parts and you can choose the specific part. But broadly you can take this part there. This is the future. I show you the future. The future is mean that there is a problem with capacitor. There is a problem with battery and you are going to solve their problem and that is your problem statement. That is your research proposal. Thanks for watching.